battle. Today's gonna be an epic dive because I forgot everything. Um, I forgot to screw for my GoPro mount. I'm gonna dive with a string and Dex and Doug. Where's Shane? Oh, bro, what's the string? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna shoot an Ono today. Hell yeah. In 20 feet of water. <laughs> because we forgot everything. Or I forgot everything. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And I hope you're all staying safe. As I said in an earlier clip, I forgot a bunch of dive gear. And I was basically just trying to stay optimistic by saying I was going to shoot an Ono in 20 feet of water, and, which I really didn't. But so that's what I'll be going over in these clips is just my random thoughts and how I was adjusting to this dive since I forgot, especially my GoPro screw for my GoPro to be mounted on my mask. And now I'm trying to record with my left hand and hunt with my right. So by staying optimistic, it allows me to negate that negative energy and focus on the dive. So instead of having a thought like, oh, I can't record my dive videos because I don't have the screw for my GoPro, now I thinking oh, I'll just record with one hand and hunt with the right no problem which really is it's actually very difficult but still that's that's the mindset I had going into this dive by staying optimistic here I'm dropping my gun and it frees up my hands and gives me this peace of mind and now I don't shoot anything in this clip, but the point of this clip is it's been roughly an hour or so since I, I jumped in and by adapting this, uh, I don't know if you call it a technique, but by dropping my gun and me to the bottom, it allows me to stay calm. And unlike the earlier clip where I was constantly moving the camera all around and just very sporadic here I am a lot more calm as you can see I'm taking a selfie and looking around I'm just glad that I can you know dive but as you can see on my right lens it's slowly starting to fog up so that's another thing that I was dealing with was I didn't because I was rushing to get into the water, I didn't defog my goggles properly. So it's the right lens only is slowly starting to fog up. So this is shortly after the previous clip. And you can see I'm uh, way more comfortable. I'm able to dive with both the camera and my gun in my hand. And again, I don't shoot anything in this clip. I'm just showing how much more comfortable I am in this clip than the previous two. And how I'm getting used to diving with a camera in my hand and my gun in the other. Not saying I'll try that again anytime soon, but it's just, I'm just showing how by staying optimistic and staying positive, it didn't negatively affect my dive. Now shortly after this, I see some impachis in the caves, so I end up three-pronging a few impachis, which I didn't record, but that's not the point of this clip. <laughs> Now this is the ending of the dive and I feel like this clip sums up the whole dive. I'm recording and holding the gun with the same hand 
and I'm able to film and shoot this Moana Kali. And with that, I was I was done. Uh, I shot this Moana Kali, got it on the stringer, and I was like, I'm going home. I'm done. <laughs> I was very content with this Moana Kali. On the way back in, I saw this monk seal that I originally thought was a dead lua for some reason and some wamas. With that, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Till the next video, aloha.